Proposition 46 was originally drawn up to stop prescription drug abuse through use of a database. You can enter your patient's information and kind of see what prescriptions they've been getting. In theory, if you see multiple prescriptions from other doctors, it should start a discussion about, hey, what's actually going on here? How can I actually help you best? I'm concerned for XYZ reasons. Prop 46 would make checking this database mandatory to curb drug-seeking behavior. He started at one doctor's office and got it there, and then when they stopped giving it to him, he would go to another doctor's office. But this has become such a big concern that um, people feel the need to react and do something, and so even if it's imperfect legislation, the, the fact that it's even being proposed um, shows how serious a, a concern and a risk this is. Prop 46 supporters say the legislation has good intentions, but some are concerned about unforeseen consequences, specifically the proposed changes to medical malpractice lawsuit payouts. As I read the initiative, I didn't see that there would be a cap placed on the payouts with respect to what the attorneys would receive if there were cases. In a medical malpractice bodily injury uh, case, you can do contingency agreements. And my understanding is, is that their take is anywhere between 20 and 40 percent. Currently, that's 20 to 40 percent of $250,000. I think that's way too low, given the amount of how high medical bills are, um, and this might be a bar, as I said previously, for certain clients and attorneys to even actually go after what rightfully could be a legitimate claim. Prop 46 would raise the maximum payout to $1.1 million. The proposed legislation would also require that doctors submit to random drug and alcohol testing. Dr. Cole raises some important questions concerning the proposed testing procedures. Who's going to do the testing? Who's going to pay for this? How much is this going to cost the average taxpayer? Los Angeles Times says that proponents for the bill have spent close to $9 million in support. Opposition to the bill has come closer to $57 million. In Northridge, California, I'm James Jewett for Valley View News.